Hello everyone. So today we'll be solving this question to or rather let's say that this differential equation and uh, it is mostly related to variable separation so I hope it's not a very big issue. So first of all let's send this term over here so that this minus sign gets turned into positive sign so that way what we have here is this dx yes so what we try and do is match the term having x with dx and the term with y with dy so for that let's send it over here and let's send this over here so what i'm saying is let's do this this and then There is a root sign over there, please take note of that. Yes. Now, in order to remove this dy and dx, what we can do is we can integrate the both sides. So that way, my integration sign might not be very aesthetic, but then yes, let's work it out with that one. So if we do this, then we can find a solution. So I hope that you've learned that 1 over uh, root under let's consider this to be a constant, a square minus, uh, let's say, x square. x square as the variable over here, even though we have y, this is different, this is just a formula, then the answer would be sine inverse x over a plus c. I hope you know this formula. So over here, y is taken as x and e is 1. So it makes, we can simply write it as sine inverse x, that is sine inverse y. So, or what we can do is sine inverse y is equal to, so similarly, this would be sine inverse x plus c, the integration constant. And then now simply what we can do is take this term to this side, or we can even take this to that side. I prefer to bring this side uh, minus c let's say it's not a big problem so that way what we can do is we i think you know the formula of sine inverse a minus sine inverse b where a and b are comparable to y and x over here so over here what we can do is we can pull them in the uh, form a formula that we in the form of sine inverse a minus sine inverse b so we would get sine inverse uh, y1 minus x square I hope you know this trigonometric formula uh, is equal to let's take c on the other side so if we take this sine inverse to the other side what we can do is we can just remove this thing uh, and write is equal to sine c and let's assume sine c is also one constant let's say c uh, prime so yes that way you can say that this is a final answer where c and c prime are different where c prime is equal to sine c you can even write this uh, at the side of your answer or else even just this much is fine so there you go uh, this is the final answer to this question. We'll be doing uh, other problems related to differential equation as well. For now, thank you for joining with me and hope you learned this entire process. Thank you.